Today's topic is production of ammonia. In today's video, we will understand the manufacturing process of ammonia through flow sheet diagram and cover all these points. So let's start. First of all, we will know what is ammonia. Ammonia is a chemical compound with the formula NH3. It is a colorless gas with a pungent smell and is composed of one nitrogen atom bonded to three hydrogen atoms. Ammonia is highly soluble in water and its aqueous solution is commonly known as ammonia water or simply as ammonia. Ammonia is widely used in various industrial applications. One of its primary uses is as a fertilizer in agriculture, as it provides a vital source of nitrogen for plant growth. It is also used in the production of numerous chemicals, including explosives, pharmaceuticals, and cleaning agents. Additionally, ammonia is a crucial component in refrigeration systems, where it acts as a refrigerant. The molecular weight of ammonia is 17.03 grams per mole, its melting point is minus 77.7 degrees Celsius, its boiling point is minus 33.4 degrees Celsius, and it dissolves well in water. And it is used to make fertilizer, urea production, ammonium phosphate, nitric acid, ammonium nitrate, ammonium sulfate etc. If we talk about the methods of production, ammonia is commonly produced through a process called the Haber-Boss process, which involves a high-pressure catalytic reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen gases. The main reaction that occurs in this process is N2 plus 3H2 rightwards harpoon over leftwards harpoon 2 NH3. This reaction represents the synthesis of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen molecules, and this following reaction is exothermic in nature. And to make ammonia, mainly hydrogen and nitrogen are required. Now, let us know about all the equipment used in the manufacture of ammonia, and then after that step by step we will also understand its working process, so let's start. This is called a compressor, it compresses something by reducing its volume and increasing the pressure, in this process, it compresses 1 mole of nitrogen and 3 moles of hydrogen. And this is called an oil filter. Through this, the impurities and compressed oil particles present in the feed are filtered and removed. If the oil particles reach the reactor, more temperature will be required to complete the reaction in the reactor, leading to higher energy consumption. This results in economic loss. Therefore, an oil filter is used. Let me tell you for information, compression oil is the lubricating oil which is used in the compressor to reduce friction. This is called a feed guard converter. Although it is optional, it is often used in modern industry. With this converter, the mixed gas that comes with the feed, such as carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, is converted into methane, and it also removes traces of water, hydrogen sulfide, phosphorus, and arsenic. If this mixture reaches the gas reactor, it will reduce the activation power of the catalyst present in the reactor or deactivate the catalyst which can spoil the process, so it is mandatory to use a feed guard converter. And this is called the reactor, the tube is inside it, where the temperature is 500 to 600 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 100 to 1000 atmospheres. Here nitrogen and hydrogen react with each other in the presence of iron catalyst and then ammonia gas is formed. There is a cold gas zone on its side which maintains the temperature of the feedstock and the temperature of the reactor. This is called a water chiller, which utilizes cooling water to condense ammonia gas into liquid ammonia. It is important to note that the water chiller does not achieve complete conversion of ammonia gas to liquid ammonia. Instead, it produces gaseous and liquid forms of ammonia. And it is called separator which separates liquid ammonia and gaseous ammonia. And it is called ammonia refrigerant, by which the gaseous ammonia obtained from the separator is converted into liquid ammonia whose temperature is minus 15 degrees Celsius. It is equipped with a centrifugal recirculator, which is a kind of pump that sends unreacted gas for recycling and small purge steam to prevent the accumulation of diluents such as argon. And this is ammonia spherical storage tank. When ammonia is manufactured then ammonia is kept in this storage tank. Let us now understand the step-by-step -step ammonia manufacturing process with the help of flow sheet diagram. Firstly, 1 mole of nitrogen and 3 moles of hydrogen are compressed by a compressor and sent to an oil filter. Here the oil content and mainly compression oil coming with the feed is removed from the feed, and then the feed is sent to the feed guard converter. Through the converter, the mixed gas coming with nitrogen and hydrogen is converted and removed from nitrogen and hydrogen, after which purified nitrogen and hydrogen gas is obtained from here, 
which is sent to the reactor. Here, nitrogen and hydrogen react in the reactor in the presence of iron catalyst and 8 to 30 percent ammonia gas is produced which is sent to a water chiller. Here, ammonia gas is converted into liquid ammonia with the assistance of cooling water. The resulting ammonia is not entirely in a liquid state. It exists as a mixture of liquid and gaseous states. This mixture is then sent to a separator, where the liquid ammonia and gaseous ammonia are separated. The liquid ammonia flows through the bottom section of the separator and is directed to the ammonia storage tank, while the gaseous ammonia is sent to the ammonia refrigerant system. The ammonia refrigerant converts the ammonia gas obtained from the separator into liquid ammonia at a temperature of minus 15 degrees Celsius. This liquid ammonia is then sent to the storage tank, and it contains 8 to 30 percent ammonia in a liquid state. In terms of yield, the process achieves an efficiency of 85 to 90 percent, indicating that the conversion of the feed gas into liquid ammonia ranges from 85 to 90 percent and the unreacted gas from the ammonia refrigerant is sent for recycling through a centrifugal recirculator.